Recently, we beat every single beginner map on chimps mode in one go. So I thought it'd be fun to continue this series and beat every single beginner map on half cash because I feel like chimps and half cash are the ones that people have the most problems with and they're just the hardest modes to beat. Now to make this even more insane, because I like to spice things up, we are turning off monkey knowledge. I don't have any besides the hero anyway at this point, but I figured it's beginner maps. So if you guys want to use this as a guide, it'll be easy to do so because there's no monkey knowledge. Now it's going to make my life extremely difficult, but I think it'll still be a good time somewhat. Now, as far as heroes go, I think I'm just going to go down the line. We're going to start with Quincy and then kind of go through. Now, we might skip someone like Churchill just because he costs so much money and because we only have half the cash. It's a little ridiculous to try to go for someone that crazy because you can't start with your hero on half cash. It's just not going to happen. You usually only get like one dart monkey or two if you're lucky and you have the free dart monkey or extra starting cash really helps too with monkey knowledge pretty much any monkey knowledge will help tremendously in something as awful as half cash but we should still be able to manage just by throwing a bunch of dart monkeys down and then getting our hero as soon as we can the biggest threat to half cash is going to be that first moab usually you do not have enough to take it down so you have to get something like a moab mauler or you have to hope that your hero's really good like Sada. So honestly, I wanted to use Sada for all of these, but I'm like, that'll be a little boring. So that's why I'm gonna try to just throw in here with a Quincy and then a Gwendolyn and then an Etienne and then a maybe even a Dora, probably not, but maybe even a Dora. Now it took all the way to level 10, but we finally have a Quincy and I want him to pop everything. So now we can hit down here, up there and right there. So now the main intention of this is just to be something that you guys can hang out to, chill to. Basically what people have been calling my Black Border series is the Fall of Sleep 2 series, which I'm totally chill with. That was kind of the goal when making something like this. But if you want to use it as a guide, you totally can too. I'm going to tell you what I'm doing, give you some tips and tricks. And the first tip is use monkey knowledge. There's no reason not to. I don't know why I do this to myself because it's going to make it way harder than it needs to be. But unlike the chimps runs that we did, you are going to see a lot of repetition because there's just only so many things that work in half cash, especially when you're limiting yourself to no monkey knowledge. Um, luckily our Quincy's a really good hero here, but I think I best bet because we won't have any lead popping is to get something like a druid to the middle path, druid to the jungle every single time, or maybe like a flame wizard, or maybe, yeah, we can verse tile it up a little bit. We can go with something like the Glive Ricochet with the red hot rings is really good. But now here's the scary part. We only have eight rounds. We still only get half the cash per end of round and half the cash for popping the balloons. We have one tower to pop camo, one to pop lead, and nothing to pop a Moab. So I really do think the best bet's going to be something like a bomb and then to sell it afterwards. Or a top path plane. Ooh, that's a good one too. I like that. Now our camo is going to be a little bad. So I think what I'm going to do here is this is kind of weird and a little backwards, but this will pop it down. And then once it is, I can use Quincy to kind of take out whatever's there. Okay, we didn't lose much. We didn't lose anything. There we go. And if I can get to a recursive cluster, let's actually just do that now if we can. So now this is what I was worried about. We don't have really much for camo, so we're gonna have to get a village here, or maybe even a shimmer would probably be better, right? Cause it's a little cheaper. Yeah, that could be better. It's just when you get to like round 78, it's pretty scary to deal with. So, but for now, I think it's gonna be good. Cause Quincy pops purples. That's where it gets kind of crazy is when you change up heroes. Like Quincy is just a pretty good versatile beginner hero. It can take down most of the beginner maps, but when you get to like Gwendolyn, she can't even pop purples. She can pop camo with her fire, which is nice, but she's ultimately useless. <laughs> so for something like this, but now everybody can see camo if the shimmer decides to make everybody shimmer, which is cool. And I honestly, I think like the best way, cause yeah, I'm a little nervous about like the harder rounds. I think we should go for more of balloon popping power than Moab popping power because this map's so long. So we're doing really good. I mean, these take down all the balloons and then it also takes down Moabs too. So I could just buy another one of these since I have the money for it. But I'm thinking something that actually takes down Moab's a little bit better because I think we're safe on 63 with just these two. Maybe on a harder map, it might not be true, but for this, it should be. And like worst case scenario, I can use Quincy's arrows and then buy something else. But here's what I was kind of nervous about. Now, as we go through these maps, it'll be a little bit easier and we can kind of figure out what we're doing, but I really don't do no monkey knowledge. Okay, I barely even used Quince's ability. That was awesome. I really don't do no monkey knowledge anymore. It kind of stresses me out. And so we got to kind of get a basis of what we're working with here. But so far, I mean, we still have eight grand left in half cash. So it's not like this was too difficult. That's with no farms or nothing. 
We are going to have a lot more Moabs here, so maybe... Oh, okay, fortified. Actually, what are we doing? Just throw up a couple more of these, dude. Just You're fine. Just a couple bombs. That's what we'll do for this round, and then we'll think of more awesome things later on. So we're almost done here. We still have $11,000. I think, to be safe, I'm going to get a Moab Assassin. I don't know if it's the best play. I don't know if it can one-shot ZOMGs. I don't think it can. But not only is it going to help for, like, this round, 79, because we balloons are covered. We have three recursives and a boomerang here we are good to go it's literally just that one zmg and here it is let's see what one shot does and it does nothing Ooh, that's not good that really absolutely did nothing i thought it was more it really did i mean it's gonna take it down we're not gonna there's no chance of losing but a little astonished that that's all it did <laughs> we still had quincy's second ability if things got too crazy there but we're off to a good start and that's looking good so let's do in the loop but with gwendolyn now, one thing, though, I am not going to be buying other heroes because I need to save my monkey money for down the road because when we do intermediate and advanced and expert half cash, you have to have monkey knowledge. So we're not going to be messing around with that. We're going to save them all because not too long ago, they implemented making you spend all of your monkey money to upgrade your points here. Back in the day, I got all these for free. No monkey money required, but now you have to have it. Speaking of which, if you're a monkey money purchaser in the Ninja Kiwi store, definitely use code DEBLOON. It helps out the channel and at no extra cost to you. So I think for these, we're just going to keep on doing what we're doing. Now for this map, I think that's a good spot, but I also think that's a good spot. Maybe like right here. That's a lot of different damage points and it keeps them pretty honest. We're about to get Gwendolyn. Sometimes I sell the dart monkeys for heroes. Other times I don't. I don't think it really matters. I think this is a good spot for this one because she is going to have heated up. So I think what I'll do is probably put like attack here and that'll take out all the Moabs and then maybe like, oh, actually though, actually we do have water. I should have maybe moved this up a little bit so I could have heated up a boat. That would have been pretty good. Now, if you are in need of spending monkey knowledge points, I would definitely go first with getting your extra cash your free dart monkey so definitely do the primary path first and then follow it up with the mana shield because that's super helpful and everything but impoppable and chimps of course and then i'd get your hero to level three i might even do that one first because hero at level three is what i did first on this account and it's super helpful i need to stop talking them and actually put some stuff down actually 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 subs are good subs are good on every single game mode now my girl gwen can do lead he can do camo if everybody else has camo so that's what we're gonna do there i'm kind of bummed that i put gwen so low i should have put her closer so everybody could get the heated up but now this guy is kind of wasted but he will take down the moab for sure which is what we need and then we just have to get something like a bomb for 63 which we can place like right here where these guys are and it'd be pretty good so i don't know if we're gonna do good against 39 i'm a little worried about what we got in store here so maybe like an alchemist here just to be safe but that's again that's only for the ceramics right now that does us no good for the moab i just knew we wouldn't have enough for the other one but once these start coming through maybe i should throw the fire down yeah that's not too bad that's pretty good actually and then we'll use this one and we should should with a capital s be good Okay, not, not terrible. Not the best, but not terrible. So now some camos are slipping through, so I think that's a good time to get something like this so he can shoot around multiple different places. So we got camo there, camo there. This guy attacks there. We got this one for here. Now I just need something like a bomb right here for 63. Like I feel like one bomb will do so good. So I wasn't even looking at the rounds, and I just instinctively bought this one to submerge because on 59, we would have had to use Gwen's ability, which I didn't. So that would have been bad. So it's nice there. I have two bombs because they're awesome. And then our camo is revealed right here now. So now everybody can see camo, which is awesome. And then I feel like if I get this one, we'll be even better off. And now Gwen even has her second ability, which is so amazing because it'll just shred the rounds like 63, at least one rush of it. So like if something's getting over here and you're about to lose, you just use that ability and you're done for. But as you can see, we're tearing it up before it even gets around the circle. That is pretty good. You know what I totally forgot about too and kind of wasting time is we can add more range here. I don't know why I'm not. If we just went like this and then get up to crossbow, now the sub can hit over here in the very beginning of the round to have these things start trailing out. Yeah, he's not doing it right now, but we could also use our ability to make these things flame up a little better. Use that ability, clean up even quicker if speed is your concern. Now, instead of messing around with that ZOMG, I think the best thing to do here would just be to sell everything. Sell, well, after we pop it all, of course. So make sure we get rid of those. And instead of waiting for this ZOMG to get there, honestly, it'd be faster just to do this. 
and take it out in one go. Because look, it's not even to where we can hit it yet and we're already gonna be able to pop it in one shot. That's what you do for something like that. Don't even mess around with it. On to Striker Jones, like the worst, the worst one, oh, especially on this map too. And the reason I say he's the worst is because he does no good. He doesn't pop on his own really. And so you're stuck with the hero that doesn't really help you out until later on. But luckily I can place a dart right here and that's pretty good. These spots are actually really awesome. We're covering four different lane spots for each one. And then I can put Striker here to take down the bombs pretty early and a kind of a cleanup at the end. So I'm just gonna put him on strong. I'm not completely bummed out about this, I'm not. And then he does really good. And recently, well, I don't know how recently, but towers near the hero get 5% range and 25% pierce. It used to just be he affected bombs and mortars and now he just affects everybody because they're like, oh, he's not that good of a hero, but now they made him it. So it's pretty cool. So what should I do? I should probably put like a sniper up here in the water tower completely away from where this guy is, but we're not gonna do that. Now, I don't know if this is the right play, but the crossbow is a really good tower. I think it could take down the mob on its own and then I can stall it like that. And then I think we can handle it. Oh yeah, we have a boomer. That's really good. And then we have a really good camo popper here too. I kind of like these ones and they should be getting a boost by him or not yet. Next level, level eight, they're gonna get a bomb 25% pierce boost, which is just great. Now I keep avoiding the village because the camo just costs way too much. You have to buy it for a lot and then you gotta buy all of this just to get camo reduction. So I feel like shimmer is good because you at least get a tower that's using fire to attack, which is nice. But now we're just not the best, but you would be weird to get a striker Jones and not a bomb. So I feel like just throw in a recursive because that's really good. Now, I didn't think I'd be using recursive more than a, a druid of the jungle, but I mean, it's just a really, really, really good tower. Now, as far as the BFB goes, I'm a little concerned, but I did have to get a druid of the jungle too because I, the time it's taking, it, if you miss, it goes all around the track and it's kind of awful. So I feel like this will be better because it can clean up a little bit easier. And I kind of want to get a sniper, but just not any of these spots. I think a helicopter would be solid, but I wouldn't be able to get it up to anything good. So maybe a never miss targeting like buffed up a little bit. That could be kind of fun. But are any of these a good spot for it? Yeah, why not? Just put it there. Because then you get the whole track range. I'm wondering if we can take down a ZOMG naturally, but why if you can just keep using the sub dude? Well, let's, let's give it a shot. I mean, why not? We can stall it once we're attacking. So like this guy's gonna be our main damage. So we'll stall it. And that thing regenerates pretty quickly. So we can just keep doing that. We have 13 grand though. I mean, I should buy something like stop being dumb about it, you know? So maybe one of these, yeah, that works out too. I mean, it's for sure gonna win. Yeah, it's a really long map, you know what I mean? Next is Tinkerton and I mean, I kind of want to save Oban for something more difficult, but I said we're going down the line, so let's go down the line. No, that would just be weird. We got to use Rosalina on our own map. Come on now. Let's go to half cash and we'll bounce back to Oban. This would be a good one for Churchill just since it's an easy map, but I'm kind of even thinking we can start with something cool like this. No, that's really bad range, actually. I thought it would cover it, but not for a while. So this covers three points on the track already, and it does a really good shot in the beginning right here. So there you go. I kind of went a little too wild there trying to save up for Rosalia. Rosalina, Rosalia, one of the two. But I think if we just put her right here, move her to there. Remember, we don't get her immediately level three, so we don't even have her cool bomb. We just have her lame laser. But there is her bomb on level two, and we're going to put her on strong. I, I think that's the best way to do it, and let the darts just kind of clean everything else up. A sub would be another solid one on this one just because it has a good range over here in its little orange pool. But also one of these would be good, like a flame one, but then we don't know how to take out the Moab, so I probably shouldn't do that just yet. We do have to worry about things. But Rosalia should be level seven by then. And then she could soul the Moab. Actually though, actually that might work. So we're getting a little too far down the line and I don't like it because I haven't thought of what I want yet. I'm thinking a, a ninja just be honestly the best. Just really easy, get everything done and takes care of our camo. All right, she is gonna make it luckily. So we'll be able to solo it at the end, which will be nice. Plus we got a blue jitsu here. So I'm really liking that. That got, I don't know if you call that lucky or, oh, it has to regenerate too though. Oh, but then we just do it naturally anyway with her first ability because she stalls everything. That is really cool. So I want to buff up the ninja, but I don't want to buff up Rosalia because a buffed ninja can pretty much just do anything you need it to. So again, I think that the best spot will be this guy here for removing camo and stuff for 59. Because I just don't think it's worth it because the alchemist and the ninja just don't really work that well together as much as I'd like them to. So we'll just use the flame guy. I'm trying to go for three different planes to take down 63 and I don't know if it's the best idea or the worst idea. Okay, it's kind of the worst idea. Okay, that was one rush, it didn't even work. Oh my goodness. 
I thought that was going to be genius, to be completely honest. It's kind of bad. But now that I have three Neva Misses, maybe. Okay, that, that's gross, but it worked. So there's my Shimmer, but I honestly thought this was going to be so much better having three Neva Misses. But they're pretty gross. And the reason I did them is because I wanted the discount from Rosalia. So then I could maybe buy a Spectre if I wanted, because that would be four, eight. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I'm going to have enough for that, but we could. This team is a really bad idea for 74. Five, to be completely honest. So I'm wondering if I could like sell everything. 75, 75, 75, 75, 75. Do I get it? I mean, barely. we got it. Yeah, but now we have no camo. So this could be really bad the next round. I mean, just to be on the safe side, this is probably the cheapest. Yeah, I see 755. I could sell Rosalia if I needed to because now I got what I needed out of her if there's a camo, but I'm mean, honestly just submerged support. You're okay. I knew there's not one on 76 or 77. It's just 78. So we're totally safe. You are going to feel a little weird for all the camos on 78 making it this far, but honestly, the Spectre's so good, it can take it down really quickly. So it's not that big of a deal. I thought about transitioning here, so I like saved up for this, and then maybe sell. Yeah, if you sold that, you could do that instead. But honestly, like I said, like look at this. This is pretty clean. It looks like it might be a little scary because at the end, but you don't have to worry about it with the Spectre. He's too good. But you could just do this and then sell that and then look at oh you almost even have jungle drums it's still taking forever but that's why i just love the specter though it's, it's a decent tower it's just not most reasonable for half cash especially on these harder maps but when we're on beginner let's just do it tree stump um we're gonna go back to oban right so i don't know what really strategy we can use with him on here but at least we can get him fairly early on and he pops lead and he pops camo if he uses brambles. So is this the best spot or here so I can spin? I think this is probably, actually right there. That's probably the best spot. And since Oban powers up druids, there's absolutely no reason not to have a druid. But now on 33, we have nothing to pop camo. So we could just buy a ninja. That might be the best solid option. Or like we did earlier, we could go with one of these because they're really, really good. And then we could use our ability too so we can have the help of that because I think it's enough for it on its own. And then for 40, I'm just going to hope for the best, to be completely honest, and then like use my brambles. But yeah, we're fine, dude. The druid's so good. I keep forgetting that. Something I would have never expected myself to do, but use a mortar. Not only use a mortar, but use it in half cash, which is actually really good. And I had enough to get camo, so we're fully covered for once. We have stuff for 59, we have stuff for 60, and then I'm trying to get the Arterioli battery because then we can really destroy these mobs. But even if we don't, they still attack them, and then... I mean, like, worst case scenario, worst case scenario, you could put your tree right here, and then it'll suck up anything that we're going to encounter on half cash. Purely insanity that mortars got us to this level, and honestly, I think I have a bad spot. I mean, I could probably, this one's a bigger one, so I could have just put it, like, here in the middle, but it's taking down everything. And then, like, another really easy way to take down the ZOMG, if you've taken down, like, every other thing this easily, is just buy one of these. Like, just put it on strong. Because now, you already destroyed all the BFBs anyway. So, it'll just sit there and hold this one. Which is, is kind of a bummer, to be completely honest. But you could put, like, this there to help out. Because you can see it's getting a little bit of pops. We could even, like, move Oban's tree to right here. So, when it pops open, it takes it down. We can use the ability to make it even faster. Put all of them right here just to get out of the way. Because this is just why I don't use the sniper is Because he stalls it there. And just keeps it there forever. And now you're bored. You're waiting for it. Like, but you do need to move these back though. I forgot about that. You know what I mean? You don't want to mess that one up. But then we do have a druid. So easy stuff. I love this. Now Churchill on town center. Which is somewhat appropriate. Because it's a tank I guess. I, I don't know. But just how are we going to get there? I don't think we can get by on just... <laughs> dart monkeys alone i really wish i had the monkey knowledge for a free dart monkey and some extended cash which i do have enough for it for sure i could clear out the entire primary tree and probably get to the mana shield with the amount of monkey money and the amount of monkey knowledge i have but in case you guys for whatever reason didn't follow along and you did half cash before chimps because you're crazy then this would definitely help you out but me personally i think you should do chimps first and then half cash because half cash is just unnecessarily harder than it needs to be like it really is i don't know why it's so difficult like on these beginner maps and six thousand plus hours in the game it's really like trivial it's you can do it with your eyes closed we haven't even lost yet but you get those advanced maps you get to those expert maps and it's just like oh my gosh who's trying to kill me we were on round 30 and I, I'm nowhere in sight of getting a Churchill because if I get Churchill, guess what? I can't pop the camos on 33 and I might actually lose. This is a weird scenario that I haven't really been in before because I don't get Churchill. That's exactly why. Like I can get him right now, but then I'm going to have to waste the money. So would it just be cheaper to get a ninja and sell it? But no, Churchill can't pop camo yet. 
Dude, this is why I don't use this guy, I swear. Like, I think crossbow can handle all the camos we're gonna see or need to worry about, but now we're, look at now we're back down 2160. So I'm gonna sell this one just to get us up there a little quicker. And we're gonna use Churchill for the Moab? I mean, come on, man, what are we doing here? What if I buff a Churchill? Oh my goodness, what a waste. It doesn't even, it's not even in range. Okay, what if I buff a Churchill? I'm trying not to buff the other towers here is the problem. I don't wanna hit the Dart Monkey or the Boomer. So how about there? Okay, perfect. Now he has extra ceramic popping power and I can use the ability. Dude, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Churchill? What are you doing? Churchill, seriously? Are you kidding me? That's embarrassing. I'm hoping I have enough for this and I don't. Oh my goodness. And if I sell the boomer, I could, I guess I could sell the boomer. We'll do that and then we'll use his ability at the end. That is a rough way to go about this. Can I even pop camo yet or no? So his ability is really good. It'll get the will it though will it get the job done will we will, will we win okay that was yeah not even in question we got that for sure but now i'm like we got no camo really unless we get sharpshooter and i think he can pop camo now or no what level can he level six and he's like the slowest leveler in the game dude what are we getting ourselves into with a churchill what are good strategies with a churchill let me know below because he's just kind of kind of wonky he's probably just not a half cash tower that's just what we need to realize here but I think a really good strategy, if I can get it there without losing, would be a boomer. Okay, back to what we had. This guy can handle camo, I think, for a while, and then Churchill will help eventually. And then we'll have a Moab popper right here to destroy everything with. Honestly, I just want the strategy to be different every time, so I'm trying a couple different things here. I know that this is amazing for 63 and just balloons in general, and then I have Shimmer to get rid of the camo. Plus, this is our Moab popper. This is actually not a terrible, terrible idea. And I can put him just in range of that one, and now we have a really beefy Moab popper, as you can see, and then he cleans everything up with the Shimmer. We're good to go. And just in case you thought we were over with, these two will come in clutch at the end, making everything easy. Kind of just want to end the big guy easily, and I have enough money to do so. I haven't even been using Churchill's abilities, which we can totally do, but why when you can just do that? First page done is looking clean. I think we have, oh my god, like 21 more left. But we're on one, two, tree. And I know I said I wouldn't buy a hero, but I don't care. I'm doing it. I love Benjamin, guys. He's my favorite hero with Sada because he gives you money and half cash you need money. Even though it's half of it, it's still money. One great thing about 1-2 Tree is I can start my Dart Monkey with a speed buff, which is unheard of on any other map. And it's way better than just placing it down here. We don't get any buffs. Now, the problem I'm going to have is that Benjamin's not a great hero for half cash in any regards, but it's even worse on this map because we don't have like 14 different spots to hit the balloons like we do on monkey meadow or town center where we have all those spots to keep hitting we only have two here one here one here and it's not even a best angle to hit it on so i am a little nervous so now i use this damage spot over here to place a ninja down to a 201 and then i have my druid of course but now am i gonna have enough to get ben i don't even think i have enough to pop all the camos that are going to be coming out on like 36 and 37 but I need Ben, dude. Like eventually I need the lives back. I need the money. But how am I going to pop a Moab even? It's kind of scary to be completely honest with you. But I'm going to go for it. I'm probably going to risk it for the biscuit here and grab my Ben. I mean, worst case scenario, I just use my ability for 37. This might not be the worst thing in the world. Plus I have a discount spot here. I could probably take down the Moab with. Yes. Okay. That's not terrible. So here's the spot I'm worried about, but I can just use my ability. Oh, and it's easy. Little concern I'm not going to have 1070. Okay, I have it. Okay, 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 okay. I'm really happy with this so far. This is pretty good. And then I can sell for like something better. So we'll have him take it out. Take it out. Dude, you can't even take it out. You're so bad. You're so bad, dude. Just use your ability. Come on. get Use the druid. Use the druid. It's druid for the win. You're a dumb Moab. I'm not using you anymore. I'm going to use this one. This is my new team and I love it. I have a Balloon Jitsu with a 4-2-0 Alchemist. I even got Heart of Thunder on the Drew, which I never do. And then I have this guy destroying things. So I think what I might do is sell my Alchemist for 63 to get the aircraft carrier up. What am I going to use to pop the camo lead? I think I'm going to have to do this real quick just to be safe. You can't fit a boat and a dude. Come on. Why are you being like that? I have to do this then. We can rely on the... Nin no, I'm not. No, no, no. I know how this goes. And if, oh, I did it and it finally worked for once. That's goofy. That's so funny though. I was worried about the leads because the alchemist never buffs him enough to get them, but I mean, that worked. So we're gonna take these down to Moabs and then the Bloom Jitsu should get the rest of them to be completely honest. And then we can use our ability just in case, but we were totally fine. Oh my goodness. And then we have more than enough money, like so much money to sell this and buy this. And now we are so golden. 
I love this. And then for here, I could just, this could be my camo revealer right there. Camo revealer. I'm really bummed that I can't fit another boat in here. I think that's kind of goofy, but I've made $3,500 with Benjamin. So he made himself back, plus gave me some extra room to grow here, which is really awesome. We have all of our camo discovered, so that's really good. We just need to take down, well, this is fine right here. And then as soon as it does go down, I don't even have to fight 76, just in case it's like a little scary. I can use it right about, now use my second ability, and now 76 is literally nothing. Oh, $10,000, oh my goodness. I'm gonna go like this. And then, oh, I thought I'd have enough. I thought I'd have enough to buy the top dog, but I guess I don't. I don't need you anymore. You're wasteful. I don't even need the ninja anymore. And I'm gonna show you a little something I've picked up using Benjamin over the years. Turn the auto start off on 79. And then once you see that second fortified BFB, so you don't have to wait forever. We're just gonna wait for it to be almost taken down. We're gonna slow down the game a little bit here, just like now. And then the round will end. We're gonna sell this guy. We're gonna buy this one because we can. And then what we're gonna do is immediately hit play and the second ability like that. And now we have to fight a BFB instead of a ZOMG and it takes like 10 seconds. That's so cool. I just like to slow it down first because if you don't, you're gonna miss it. This works out perfect. We're on Scrapyard and we have Pat. And Pat's a pretty hard hero to use in my opinion just because once you get him, he helps but not the best. But this is the longest map in the game, I think. So it won't be too difficult. And then we can place this guy. I think that's a good spot to be honest. And then we'll just place Pat here on strong. And that's, yeah, it's pretty good. I like this actually, it's not terrible. And I think he can hit the final track here, or maybe not. His range is so bad, you just never really know. Now, unfortunately I wasted a little bit of money because I had a sniper here and then it was blocked up there. And then I was like, oh, well, if I put it over here, it'll be in range of Pat. Uh, it wasn't, it's not in range of Pat. So Pat's ability still doesn't do anything for this guy. And if you didn't know about Pat, yes, he knocks back Moabs and he makes it really fun and easy and he can hug them down too for that ZOMG to make it like really easy, but he makes them so buff and awesome, but we don't even have that. We're losing a lot of loons here, but I don't think it's a big deal because I almost have what I need. So I'm just kind of, kind of risking it for the biscuit, I guess they say. And there it is, there it is. Now we're good. Now we can even take down a Moab. And here it is. I thought his range would be better, but it's still not good. And I still can't make him use it, but I was hoping he would knock it back at least. He didn't even do that. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. But I think with this guy alone, we're going to be pretty good. I mean, the only thing we can't fight is 59. And in that case, we could just get camo on Pat or get like camo on Pat. So I'm a little bummed. I'm almost to the point of having an elite defender, but I can't take out 59. I have nothing for it. I have no camo lead at all. So I guess what I think I'll do is just maybe buff you up. That's all I really can do, to be honest, and just hope for the best. And then we'll just, actually we can just take our time because we can pop it up here too. So he'll do his thing, not a big deal. And then once it gets in here, if it doesn't, we'll just go bloop. And that gets up like 90% of them. That's pretty cool actually. Now for the record, I would never do this on a map that wasn't this long. I would do this on logs or resort, but this strategy is not a sufficient strategy for like anything but here. And for this kind of map, you can pretty much use a lot of things. I just like global towers, especially on a map where you're allowed to use global towers and other towers are harmed. Like for instance, you, you know, you, you're kind of blocked. If you put that there, see how it blocks the track? Well, this tower has no blocks at all, which is cool. Now, the only thing we have to be concerned about now is like 76, we can't beat it because this guy just makes a big old regrow farm. So what we need to do is get something better. Oh, something that won't allow a regrow farm, like a druid. And we'll put him next to this guy, so he's strong, that's so cool. And let's actually get jungle's bounty so we can get some lives back here, because 35 looks gross. I know when I used to make half cash strategies back in the day, I would literally go out of my way to use things that would give me lives back, like Benjamin. So I would end it with 100, because it just felt so weird to have low lives. But I am a little concerned about 76, but I think with the Druid, yeah, with the Druid, we're totally fine. Now we got one life left. Oh my gosh, that means we only need 64 more rounds to get to our full set of lives, which is awesome. But one thing that I will say positive about half cash, like the only thing positive is it does teach you really well how to set up your game. For instance, like you need to know what rounds are coming and you have to prepare for them accordingly. So you need to know that 76, you can't handle the regrows with something like this. So you do need a Druid. Or at the end of 78, there's camos. So if this guy wasn't a camo tower and he was like the top path, he would not beat 78. Just little things you gotta know. But then there's towers like this one that can just handle pretty much everything. And if you gave them a village, you're done. Easy stuff. Except for Moab, can't take a Moab. 
Now I was hoping that this guy doesn't pop it open, but he's going to, because I wanted to show you Pats if you've never seen it. It's, it's actually pretty cool. Like if it's in range, you can just hug him down. But then the downside is like, if you hug that Moab, look at now what he's not doing, he's not slapping back the other one. So I only use it on like the bigger ones, like a big old ZOMG, but really not that big of a deal. We're on cabin and now we have, I'm not gonna buy any more heroes. So we're not buying Eliza. We're gonna use Adora on cabin. Oh, gross. I'm just not an Adora fan. She can't pop purple. She can't pop camo. She's just kind of useless up at front. A little crazy of a start, but I did five darts on the bottom so they can guarantee two different hits. You'd think you'd put them up there, but then the problem with that is that they just kind of chase and shoot in all directions. It's really gross. Now we're still missing with five darts, which is kind of astonishing, but now we can at least get Adora, I think. Yes. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I was really concerned about using her on this just because she's not the best. But I mean, with five darts on the bottom, all worth 150, that gives us $750, which is actually absolutely nothing. So we need to worry about camo. We have our lead covered here. We do not have purple covered, unfortunately. But I don't like how much she's letting go through. It's kind of nasty, to be completely honest with you. So I think what I want to do is put this guy on last so we can get some like good shots off. She can hopefully clean up a little bit and all they have to do is break down little stuff. Now with $400, what I can do, which is nice, I can sell all of these and now I can get my druid. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's not terrible. I can put him back on first now. So I think all of our balloons are covered except for camo balloons. So can I get a ninja in time just to like help us out a little bit? This map is a lot harder than I thought. Like it's just not really many places to set up. Uh, you don't get that much range. You're shooting at weird angles. Like, look at how far away from the track she is. It's not something you'd normally want to do. Now, for the Moab, what we have here is absolute garbage. It can't do anything. So I'm kind of concerned about it. We could try to shoot for one of these, but we wouldn't have enough for it. Like, the top path third tier would be great. But that's a lot of money. So I'm thinking the plane would be the best, but sometimes the plane's so slow. Look how many lives losing right there, too, to be honest. But that was the last camo until 42, which is nice. So maybe the plane will be better right here because then it'll actually get a lot of hits. Will it not be enough for that either? Are you kidding me? I might have to sell this guy anyway. Let's turn off this round and see. No joke. I'm going to have to sell this one. All right. I guess we will. We'll sell it and then get what we get. And what I can do though too is I can use her ability and then I can freeze stuff as well because I think that'll help. This is some weird stuff to have to be doing right here, but I mean, you got to do what you got to do. So we're going to freeze it and then use her ability. I don't think that really did much. But then the druid's gonna take out the rest, hopefully. There we go. That was, I mean, geez Louise right there. I think for camo purposes, we're gonna have to get this one for 1620 and then worry about something else for the next set of Moabs. Like we have a good balloon source now, like a good balloon popping. I just realized I hadn't even upgraded hard thorns. That would have helped out so much tremendously. That is crazy. The Moab would have been a lot easier, so we probably wouldn't have lost as many lives. So if you're falling around like that, now did I really lose that? Okay, no, this guy took over. That's awesome. I used her ability like it's going to help, but she still can't pop purple. She's useless to that. So I think what we're going to do here is we're going to grab a regular old sub to kind of get us through. And as expected, we're still losing like camos to this one. So I have to just for safety put like one of these guys down here that can clean up the camo. That's so crazy to me. So I made it through 63 without a scratch. And then there is one good thing about Adora that I totally forgot about her third ability, actually not the sacrifice one, but I don't like that the sub still isn't hitting like right at the front. So I'm going to try to throw one of these guys up there with the camo. So now the sub has like infinite range right off the ghost, taking all these down. Then we got the two recursives, of course, to clean up because it's just a hard map. Let me tell you. And I think what I'm gonna do is drop one of these two just to help out, put it right there. And then it'll be like an extra layer of cleanup. And then if worst case scenario, we have Sada's third ability here to clean up. So for this one, I'm just going to try to grab a Moab assassin and we'll just use that paired with her ability and we'll wait for it to open up though, just to be safe side. I don't have any problems. So we'll use it now for her first ability and then use this one. It should clean up everything on its own. Yeah. Okay. That one was a toughie. This is kind of a weird map, but honestly, it's just because it was a Dora too. The resort is going to be super easy. Who are we going to use for this one? We have Etienne. I don't want to waste Etienne, but I guess it's fine. We'll just go with it because Sada's next and she's my favorite. So we're going to see to use her a lot, actually, because she's the best. But for this, we could honestly just start with the tack and put it like right here, I think. Like, how about like right there? It's a good spot. And just like that with the 2-2 two, two tack, 2-0-2 two, two tack, we can grab our Etienne, who is going to be our camo popping, hopefully. I don't think right off at 24, but then we need to worry about lead. So with camo and lead, we could probably just go with the top path and tear down everything like really easily. 
I went a little dangerous, but as you can see, it's such a long and easy map that I still only lost 10 lives. I can use his ability here, and then once it pops open, it'll clean up instantly. And then once we get to level 8, we have camo for everyone, which is this one included. And then Etienne's drones will pop open purple, which is the only thing this guy can't touch. And then it's just game over. Funnily enough, though, I spoke too soon and didn't have level 8 and just lost another, you know, 20 lives. Nothing too crazy. And I think I saved enough room to put this one here. And this will be our Moab popper with camo. Oh my gosh, I can put two of them. Are you kidding me? I'm kind of risking it here, but I'm not even upgrading for 63. I'm like, ah, oh, who cares? Because what I can do is once this gets too far around the track, like it is, it's not even getting that far. But let's just say it was. I can use this ability and it carries from the end of the second one into the third one into the next round, making it super, super easy. Now, obviously, we're going to have to upgrade before like 78 or 80 or whatnot, but I think I can get like attack zone or if we wanted to speed things up, we can get something that'll go global, like a plane or a helicopter would be kind of cool too. That'd be actually, Apache would tear up everything for us. A little bit scary, but we have two tacks, so I can sell one and now we have an Apache dart ship. I think we would have been fine regardless because I still do have the ability that I haven't used, but I just love the really easy maps. I know it's fun in life to challenge yourself, but it's also fun just to destroy things, like turn on all the cheat codes and just win, right? And that's kind of what we're doing here on this easy map. You're, the sky's the limit, and when we have a sky tower like Etienne, it's even a higher limit because this thing can go on its own. So we have money for 80, but I'm also just going to use the UCAV. Do we have enough? Oh, I thought it was going to be like level 20 soon. I'm like, hang on, we're not doing round 100, we're doing round 80. Simple, super simple stuff. And then we could throw down this because we have a lot of money. See if it'll open it up a little bit, which it did, which is cool. Easy stuff. Oh my gosh, resort so easy. Skates with my girl Sada. I'm going to love it because Sada is the best. Here's half cash. Here's how it goes. Basically, what I do is I just go and buy these guys and then sell for Sada. So like right now, I have enough to sell you if I, oh no, I need a couple more bucks, like a little bit more dollars, one more dollar. And I can sell and get this for 650. And now I have Sada. And, and then and then she'll carry on till the end of time, just by herself. She can pop lead, she can pop camo, she can just do everything. And she's so good. So the fact that I made you wait like 10 rounds in or 10 games in to even see Sada in action, like honestly just use sada for every single one and from this point on we totally should it would be so much faster so much easier and once her ability gets used we can just save time even because now you can just like hit those balloons when they're starting to fly around like that Ooh, penguin now you have so many choices with the moab because of sada and it's so cool because i don't even know what to do honestly all we have to do is pop it down so for this we'll just just to keep it simple we'll just pop it open with this and then her ability instantly destroys. So you just go like that and then it's game over. I love that. Now we do need camo. So this time I'm just going to make it easier and get this one. And then I'm going to grab the jungle drums. And now with all my fan boating over Sada, I don't still don't have anything to pop the Moab with. <laughs> I need something better than what I had. So how about a sniper or just a bomb up front would be good. Or like we had before, it's pretty good for this map right here. Oh, I like that. But is it in fact not strong enough? Oh my gosh, Sada, what are you doing? Okay, that was a bad idea. We'll just use it for that one. And then I'm gonna buy a plane. I like planes, they get the job done. That was that was stupid. That was a bad idea, but now we have a plane. It has camo, it has everything. And we can actually just buff it up with this. So that makes it even easier. So all we have to worry about is 63. And then in that case, I actually think a mortar would be fine. We'll put it right here and we'll go with the big one. Yeah, it's not, it's not a big deal. It's 63. Like, yeah, it's scary, but I don't think it's the worst thing in the world. We'll put it like right here so it actually hits everything maybe. Yeah, it's not terrible because then the druid will hit the rest. Again, wouldn't do this on a shorter map, but I feel safe with what we have here. And then for like the next one, you can just like hit the ability and then that'll even make it quicker. Different way of doing it for sure. And then I think this would just be the easiest next spot. I mean, we don't need too much love here, so let's go with this one. I didn't need to get camo, it's just a habit, but we do need the intense magic. And if I could, I would like to get to summon Phoenix because then we have another global ability like Sada's second one, which is really awesome. But for this, I think I can just summon a Phoenix, use Sada's first ability, break this thing open and use the second ability and we'll clean up before it even gets to the first bend. I love it. Sada's too good, but that's all there is to it. Now we're on Lotus Island and we have Geraldo, because we're not unlocking any more heroes because I need the money for my monkey knowledge and so Geraldo will be our last one. 
My biggest problem with Geraldo for half cash is the fact that he doesn't really add that much power to our team. So you're spending 810, which is a lot in half cash just to get like mediocre power from it. So we might have to have a really good basis before we can even buy him. I might even wait till after round 40 to even buy him so we can have a good team to take on that Moab. So for 40, this is what I have and I'm not really impressed by it. So I think what we'll do is we'll sell this one to buy this one and hope that this is enough. I don't think it will be though. I don't know if it's good enough to take down the ceramics. Maybe though, because then we do have the sniper unfortunately unless you know that's not terrible I, i'm okay with being above 20 because you guys are using monkey knowledge if you're using this as a guide and if you're not you're crazy now i bought geraldo which is probably a bad play because i need camo on 42 so i'm hoping that he levels up does that work that way no he's gonna give quincy action figure huh so it's kind of a joke oh no you do get it okay awesome that's all we needed okay we have a strong team now this is cool i like this and this might be a bad play, but I'm gonna go with the Quincy action figure. I probably should have gotten it earlier, but I mean, whatever, who cares, right? So here's the plan now. We're gonna buy this one, cause that's really strong. We have two camo poppers. One of them can pop lead, oh my gosh. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna save up for the aircraft carrier, then probably sell this one to buy that. I think that's a good play here. Cause this guy can take out Moabs, I'm pretty sure. But then again, I can just go with this one until I can actually afford that one naturally. Cause the boat's pretty good on its own. And there it is, there's our boat. And just to be safe, I'll re-camo it cause there's no reason not to you get 10 rounds for it. So I guess Geraldo's good for that purpose cause you get camo right off the go or pretty quick into it. And I'm thinking for 63, we don't have to do anything cause the plane, right? Oh my goodness, I love this guy, he's great. So what's better than one boat plane, two boat planes? I'm gonna make this one camo too just for that second rush of 78. But now we have the genie totally forgot about that. We have the little bunny if we were going to use that. We could have also turned our dart monkeys into super monkeys, which would be really cool. So we have a lot of options here at Geraldo. You just have to get past that first hard spot, which I think if we would have just, yeah, I think what we did worked. It's great. Probably could have waited on him to even buy him because we don't need all this stuff. But I feel like we can just do this and then this and then this and then this, put them all here. And then we got all these flame guys. That was super cool. But now that's all the heroes and we're on to Candy Falls. I kind of want to show you Sada again just to show you how easy it is with her and why I just like overusing Sada for everything and why you should too. Just because, yeah, you know, you want to have some like differentiation in a game. You don't want to do the same thing over and over and over. But I mean, she's just too good. She's too cool for school. I'll show you here. Um, I think this is a good spot. Yeah, I don't know. But remember, if you had the Mana Shield or the extra cash or the Dark Monkey, I'm going to keep repeating that because it's a game changer. Like monkey knowledge versus no monkey knowledge is literally life and death. It's so insane. So I don't know why I'm doing this because I'm making it way harder than it needs to be, but that's how it goes. I could have sold a dart monkey for Sada, but then I'm thinking like this guy has so many different spots. So I'm just going to leave her here and look it. Now my best friend Sada is there to destroy the game. I remember Sada's ability can like one stop the ceramic. So it's just like, just all you have to do is pop it open. So if it's a longer track like this, but this is another easy one where you have like multiple different spots to hit these things. So it's really not that difficult. Now Sada's our only camo popper right now. I feel like I should get a sub or something here or maybe in a village. But to be completely honest, a shimmer right here can't really miss ever, I don't think. So I was trying to test my limits and see how far we could get. I was hoping to make it all the way to the 21,000 for this one, but I don't think it will have enough even if we sell. So we need something else for 63. And even if I sell everything but Sada, we're just a little bit short, which is definitely a bummer because we're almost there. I like what you did before with the top path fire going with this one. That should be enough to stop this on its own, I think. Um, Close enough and then you have the Drew. Oh, wow. I just lost some stuff there. Okay, got a little too big headed on that. But the Druid will take care of it. I'm just trying to save as much money as I can so I can take it out with the other one and get that Apache. And I believe if I sell this now, I can buy my Apache and we're good. Oh, there we go. That's pretty much game. That is game for sure on this mode. We're going to save up to make it faster, but we're done. $12,000 left. Not bad. I mean, we could snipe it out if you want. Just hold it off there. Use our ability, try to chop it up. Use this ability to clean up. And there we go. I like it. It wasn't bad at all, but this had a lot of twists and turns. So it's an easy, easy map. Not like Lotus Island. So with Winter Park, I'm going to go with Gwendolyn since fire and ice kind of makes sense. 
I can never decide if this is the best spot or here, but we'll just do both of them. But I think this is better for now because he has all these little rotations. And just like that, we have a Gwendolyn with just three of them and 78 lives. That's not bad at all. And my goal with Gwen is that she's going to have her fire pit right here, which will be like our main camo popper until we get something good, like maybe a ninja or something. But I'm going to do something a little odd here. Well, first off, when I see things are going to go a little bit too far, I am going to use Gwen's ability. But here... I'm going to go bomb first. I don't know if that's the best play, but I know if I have a recursive by the time the Moab comes, we can take it out. And a heated up bomb is never bad because her heated up ability is amazing as well. She's actually a really good hero. I'm kind of digging it. Okay, but 33 kind of worries me and I know her ability won't last the whole time. So I think instead of getting this guy upgraded at all, I'm just going to go with a ninja here because that this will come back later. I think it'll be fine. Yeah, because the ninja's handling it no problem. So I kind of feel like it's not good to have this ninja as opposed to just getting heavy bombs. I'm going to go for it though. We're going to risk it for the biscuit and see hopefully this works. We got the fire on it. We got that on it. Let's take it out with the fire too. Oh, we got it. Oh my goodness. Okay. So far, I'm really happy. We have a good little team here with this ninja and I forgot Caltrops, but I don't even need it right now. I'm going to get a farm. We haven't done that yet and it's kind of silly. But you do make money. You do. By the time we sell it on 63 for whatever we're going to buy, it will work. Now for this, I want to actually get a village. Because I want him to pop the camo too. Now my first rush has caused me a little bit of scare. But I have Gwen's ability. And I have two, two bombs. I don't see why it's even a problem right now. Like why are those little balloons getting away? I could always just sell this though. Because we really don't need all of it. But I don't... No, it shouldn't be a problem. It shouldn't be a problem. But it might be. So I'm going to sell this for, I guess, one of these just real quick. I don't want to have any problems. Just, just let's let, let it help. I know the bomb's there, but you just never know. I'm going to sell it and sell it again. A little bit of maneuvering, but you know. And then we're going to put this one here so that doesn't happen again. And this is my final thing here. Everybody's in range of the village. They're all primary, so you get that primary training. These things will not let any... Oh my gosh, I didn't even finish. That's probably why I did bad on round 63. I didn't even finish upgrading. Oh my gosh, neither of them. Neither of them upgraded where they need to be. What a goofball. So I didn't even need to do that weird old boomerang thing I did. But we're more than capable now of taking everything out. Super easy stuff. Um, I can even add something else over here because the village still, the village is still in range there too. Oh my goodness. Let's light that ZOMG on fire. Put this little flame there too. And that's it. We are done. I kind of want to go with Quincy for carved because Quincy and carved kind of sound, you know, similar. And because I really like using Quincy. I like the cheap heroes. I feel like they're the best ones. Now for this, I would prefer like a triple spot so I can get like one, two, three. I feel like that's probably good or yeah, let's just try here for now. I mean, pretty good. It's not the worst. It's not the best, but I mean, we still have 81 lives, which is great. And we're going to have Quincy by the end of this round. So we're going to lose a lot on the blues, so it might have been more beneficial to like buy another guy here and then sell it. But I mean, we're talking about like $10, $15 here. And since we're not really investing, I don't see us buying a farm again. That was just kind of for fun. But you do make money. If I didn't have to make that mistake and like sell it for the boomer last second to make sure we didn't lose, I think it would have been a lot better. I'm going to put Quincy here, here before the round ends. Okay, good, good, good. We got that little level up round there. Now, Quincy's arrows kind of go everywhere like the ninja. That's why I just put him there. And he has a really good range. Now, I went for a druid because he pops camo and then he'll pop the leads, but I feel like I messed up a little bit. So we're going to do this one and then buy that one. Quincy's every... Oh, no, no, that's every third shot the next level. We would not have had a lead popper there. That would have been pretty goofy. So what are we going to do for the Moab? Quincy does have his ability, which is amazing and does help. But I'm wondering if we can get all the way up to like Dragon's Breath because that would be pretty awesome. And it'd be a really good tower to have too. It'd be just awesome all around. Or could we afford all the way up to Century Expert? Probably not, right? But that would be a good one. Now this is just 33 and he's struggling a little bit on the camo, so we do need to figure that part out. I'm wondering if like a sharpshooter would be good because it does do well on Moabs. I really like that one. Let's just do it. And then I don't know why, but I really just want to use one of these. I think it'll be kind of fun. We'll go like long range too, so we can get everywhere. We'll use Quincy's ability now. Okay, sharpshooter, it's your job here with the druid. There we go. Now, since I messed up my placement of these guys, I can't really get a village everywhere I need it to. So I think a good one would be to go just a wizard. Maybe right there. I mean, this is a bad call on my part, but I mean, it, it'll get it. 
I have never done this before, but I have three sentry experts. Is that going to be enough for this? I'm a little nervous, but I'm excited too. I think it might do some cool damage here. We got a bunch of little turrets here. We got a third set over here and then they're gonna come back to there. Oh yeah, that's really nice. I like that. Should I get another one then? Just like spam some turrets? How fun, what a different strategy. We just have turrets everywhere. I don't have enough for that one, so I'm gonna sell you because I just want it to be all symmetrical so we have all of them upgraded. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sentry turret things. Is that enough? I should have sold that guy. I don't need shimmer on round 80. What a goofball. The sharpshooter is actually really good. And then once it gets there, just go like that. And that's game. That's actually really cool. Park path is definitely open because he fits on this kind of map. He just is green. It goes with it. And now this is actually going to be tough. There's really no good spots here. I mean, maybe. No, it's going to be gross. Actually, not bad at all. Like, really not bad. We have to wait a little bit for some balloons to get through, but we have open already, and he can go all three spots once he gets his range. I like it. That's a pretty solid spot there. Now we're getting a little overwhelmed here, and I think I'm actually gonna get dunked on, actually. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So the problem is I was saving up too much money, and I don't think I should have because I was trying to get to this one. But I think the best bet would just be to upgrade this one up to here like we do. Maybe sell this one so we can get that a little bit sooner. And now we're not going to have any problem. But now with the Moab, I don't know, man. I don't know. Oban puts his little bramble wherever he wants to. It's a little stressful, but we should be fine with it. Yeah, and then we have the bramble too. We're okay. Then I'm wondering if I add this, will it get to... Oh, not quite. It's not quite where I want it to be. But it's still cool. It still gets it there. And then I'm thinking we should throw another one here to get that extra little camo spot. I don't know if that's too much though. Because you know if you add too much to the submarine, he just spins around like a crazy person. So on 59, I kind of messed up. It's always the alchemist. You just never know if he's going to power him up enough. So I'll just use it for here. And then I think I'm going to use this for 63. I've never done it. It might be a really bad choice or it might be really awesome. Now look at all these camos. Oh my goodness. I'm going to regenerate this thing because I can. And then how big is the glue? Is it good? I mean, the glue is pretty bad. It's not even working. It's not even working. Oh my goodness. I mean, we're doing it, but it's so... So lackluster, I feel like it's just all open, but I guess that's why we have open, right? Like it doesn't have to be perfect. So I kind of want to sell everything. I don't know if we're going to be able to even pop all this. I'm going really slow just to make sure we got it. I think the glue will make sure like, yeah, the glue's really good, but we're right there at almost having everything. I don't think we're able to get through this round. Just going to regenerate a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think here's the goal now. So if we sell all this and we sell this, there we go. But now we have zero camo. So we got to keep that in mind. So now we're done as far as that goes. We've got to make sure that everything's decamified, which uh, village might be a little pricey. So I think we'll just buy one of these for now. And he has a range boost too from Oban, which is nice. I'm trying different things each time, not only just to keep you guys on your toes, but I also would like to see what's the best. Just because I think it's like a, dru a Sada into a Druid into something doesn't mean necessarily that it is. It means that I just haven't tried everything. And so I was thinking maybe if fourth tier glue would be good i take that back I, I don't think it did that good to be honest and then we have to wait a while for it and then didn't even handle 63 but at least we have 78 i think i'm a little nervous about the end of 78 this one right here but i think we shimmered them all oh my gosh that's really cool now there is not a chance am i gonna even bother taking down the moab or the zomg we are going to use the ability and just call it a day because we'll be here all day It'll come down to the wire. Like, look at this right here. Then we have to clean it up again. We'd we'll have to clean up BFBs. I, honestly, I don't think the glue could take it. Yeah, I really don't. He might not be able to take this. Yeah, look at that. Oh my gosh, that was a little close. So we're gonna do this and then buy this one because I just don't see it happening. Let Oban attack him all he wants. He can go for it, make that money. And then zoop, done. I'm not a fan of Alpine Run. I'm just gonna throw that out there. So I'm going to just use Sada. I'm gonna make sure we win this one right off the go, right off the get go. Sada's gonna go right here. I feel like that's the best spot for her on this one because then she could double hit. I mean, maybe right there so she can just keep swinging would be good too, but I'll just put her in the double hit spot. So this dart will have to go here. So at 500 bucks, I can sell this dart. Oh, God, I don't even have 500 yet. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think I'm gonna to have to though, right? Yeah, so we'll sell it now by Sada. Okay, good, 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 good. We're in a good spot. I love it. Sada's great. So unfortunately I don't have enough money. Yeah, I still don't have enough. I need $25. Dude, I don't think I can take it down. I have to like sell my druid here. How'd I end up with like a couple bucks short? That's kind of a bummer. 
I mean, I can always pop it open and then use the druid and then use this guy right, right here. That's just not gonna cut it though. So I guess what I'll do is I'll sell my druid and then we'll buy that one. And that should be more than enough just to take it down and then Sada can clean it up. Yeah, dude, this that's such a good tower. Oh my gosh, the recursive and Sada are just great too. Now I do need camo, but I'm thinking too, like Sada could probably get through this. Yeah, she could probably get through 42 because with her just hacking away at it herself and then I can use the ability, like anything left over. Yeah, yeah, it's not a big deal. Or she'll just solo it, no worries. Oh my goodness, she's too good. When you don't want to mess around, this is the strategy to use. A boomer, two recursives, this one just to help break down the Moabs, and then Sada, oh my goodness. I, I just, why would you use anything else? It's just so good. All at this point, you can just add more things to take things down quicker. So like you can add a couple of these, which could be fun. So maybe like a top path. Cause I assure you, no balloon will get through these three. It's impossible. So the only thing we'd have to worry about is Moab class on like 75. But I think with two planes, if not three planes, we're just, just change up a little bit each time. See what's the best. Absolutely nothing to worry about on any of these rounds. This is crazy. Now I am curious about how fast four, how about five planes? Yeah, five planes, can we do six? Can we do six? Give me six. Oh, there we go. Six planes can take out a ZOMG or at least break it down. And it's not as good as I thought. I honestly thought it'd be like really quick, like right out the gate broken. But I mean, it's not terrible. I mean, it's pretty bad to be completely honest. I thought those were really good. <laughs> and I think we got 878 pops with that. Oh my gosh. I really want to use Geraldo again, but I kind of want to like focus on his shop this time. I think that would be kind of fun. So maybe use more of his items. And this map is pretty easy as far as like how many times you can hit stuff. This dart should be able to solo most of it on its own. Cause you got one over there two, and then three and then four ish. You got four ish kinds of hits if there's a break in it. Not bad. I mean, we still have 77 lives and I get my Geraldo. I mean, again, not the best power tower hero, but we can also start using his little turrets, which are really, really good. And what I really like about his turrets, is you can just stack those things. Like just stack them super, super tight together. But dude, are we ever gonna have enough for one? Are you kidding me? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like Geraldo's tough. You get him and you can't do anything with him. So I think this is a good spot for that one though, because it can shoot down here, plus it can shoot down there. And I'm totally just going off the flow with this. I think they're great. I think it'll work for this, but we do need camo soon, but Geraldo's giving us camo, which is awesome. And then how about right there? Oh, dude, seriously? Okay, that's pretty cool. And then right on top of it, just to keep doing that same little kind of stance, that's pretty cool. Now we need to worry about lead. Camo, I don't care about the, like that first one, but for lead, I think a good one, just be like a little lead popper right there would cause everything to go away. But can we do it in a couple rounds? Probably, yeah, probably. But then it doesn't hurt to have a sniper on board either. Now I have five turrets, so that means I can take down the camo rounds really easily. I don't think I can take down Moabs with this, but at least I can do camo. I have my lead popper here, which is a little bogus, but I think what I should do is spend 1620 and use his cape to get this guy to a super monkey. That could be pretty beneficial. So we're gonna drop that on this guy. Okay, not bad. So now we need him to camo though. Well, no, these are good for camo for like 42 and stuff. Like, let's see how they do 37. Oh yeah, more than enough, better than Sada. Now I just want lasers for the Moab, okay? So there we go, now we should be good. And then if I need to, I can do absolutely nothing. I can put down some spiky stuff. How about another turret? I like the turrets a lot. And we got lasers, dude. So I upgraded my super and then forgot about the purples and didn't re-up the camo on the turrets. Oh my goodness. So here we're running into a little bit of a problem. So I guess I'll have to camo him too. Ah, just running into too many camo issues here. And this guy has six left, but at least we've got past that other part though. I'm losing lives pretty good over here. Like, let's be completely honest with this. So I'm just gonna start throwing these guys wherever I can. I wonder why, what am I doing wrong? So this should come out pretty quickly there. That's good. And just keep throwing these down. And then if it gets past my super, my plan is to give it a chili pepper because I'm down to 15 lives. I kind of messed that one up because I was just getting a little too crazy with it. So see here, it's too far. So now we throw the fire pepper and that'll help for 55 for sure. So I thought I'd have the sun avatar by 63, which I won't. So I don't even know if I should go for a dark night because I don't think that'll help on 63. But I mean, it's better for this one, right? I mean, it's pretty good and I can dark shift. So that's not terrible. And it'll take out this thing pretty good. Yeah, okay, not bad. I like it. It could probably help 163. Plus I will also have Geraldo's little stuff here, four of them. That's 2,100 bucks to take down 63 though. It's a little rough. 
Well, actually, no. If you think about it, it's like I'd have to buy a recursive, but the recursive lasts the entire game. So that's kind of a different story. I'm going to grab this fire here just to be safe, but fire doesn't hurt on the purple either. Okay, so we need to get some other stuff going on here. And then maybe another one here and then give him some stuff as well. Like that's how we're going to take down 63. I mean, really though? That's it? That's that's what we got? Okay, I'll use the I'll use you too then. We'll have two flames going. I mean, I'm trying to just use Geraldo's shop, but if this map wasn't this long, this would be really bad. So I messed up on this one, so I'll have to use that. But I guess that's the point. I'm trying to use a shop. But I did buy two or maybe three? Two of the new turrets, which is nice. And I'm going to buy them every time I can. I wish I would have bought the bunny, but we're talking like... 32, 65, $6,500 for that, it's a little expensive. Uh, but this is just kind of scary too. Okay, for this one, I think the best would just be to use these, call it a day. So just go blop. But then you can't do that with the camo though. So I'm gonna have to naturally take it out. How am I gonna do that? I guess a flame and camo these ones. So un like use these ones to camo as well. Oh no, I camo the dart monkey, what a dummy. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna lose that way. I camoed the dart monkey and not him. So, but I, what I want to do is see if this will take it out. But I honestly, just use that. It'll take it out for sure, right? Yeah, the genie's good and we're almost done. But does he need to be camoed as well? I have to see. So if he doesn't work, we'll just drop it there, call it. Oh no, he does work on camo. He has his own camo. So he's good to go. And then we could drop this one now because on round 80, he'll be there again. So that's good. Okay, so Geraldo's a little rough around the edges. I have to learn him a little bit better. Throwing just a bunch of stuff down, just it's, it's too cluttery for me. I'm not the biggest fan of this style of play, so I will have to learn better strategies with him. But might as well just use the rest of the shop here, right? I mean, he's good. He's powerful. I mean, we got a genie rolling around here. As soon as it breaks down into anything, I could just drop this and just, just take it all out. Like, it is really good. On to one of my favorite maps in the game, if not my favorite map. But for this one, I think Pat will be a good one because I have a cool strategy in mind. And we only have five, was that five left? So we're almost there. It's been a journey, but we're almost there. So I think just put it in the spots where you're going to get the most pops. This one should be honestly really easy. I made it to Pat with two dart monkeys and no lives lost. This is an easy, easy map. And I'm thinking just have them somewhere like right here and on strong. And it'll not only push back all the Moabs, but we can hug all the big ones when we get that ability. We got him very early, so it pops Les. Now we just have to worry about camo. Oh my goodness, this is actually off to a really cool start. And it looks like Pat and his little sons are with him right now, so this is cool. Or it's like the big, the big brother who plays football. I'm not sure how you want to look at it. So this is another one of those maps that you can pretty much try whatever you want. You have a lot of leeway. We still have not lost any lives. So I just went with this one for the camo because I think it can carry into the 50s for sure. And then I can use this ability. It makes everybody strong. He smacks back the Moab and we still have way more than enough time to knock everything down. Now, obviously this won't work for like round 63, but for like spaced Moabs and things like this, it's a great. This game's so much easier when you're not struggling to survive because now we have everything we need. We still have lost zero lives and look, it's barely even making it to this point right here. There's our rush. Yeah, dude, it's not even coming back around. This is awesome. That's without the ability. If I want to do that, I can just go poof and then it's, well, same amount of time, I guess, because we're buffing up only. Oh, it has to be in range of Pat. But while we wait for that to recharge, we actually have the big old Moab hugger, which is really good. And now I want to test this. So we got this one. Not that one, not that one. Okay, so I probably should have put Pat here. Hindsight's 2020, but I mean, that's still good. We have this little destroyer too. So I was going to sell things to buy this one, but I wanted to kind of test out this because we haven't really got to use it yet. As soon as it's in range, I can use that, hug it down. It breaks it to the BFBs and then we could actually like do this and then, oh wow. Yeah, dude. Easiest one yet. We lost zero lives. I think that was the best run yet. For four circles, we're going to run Etienne because I really like his global... Or not so much global, but the fact that when I place his drones down, he can go this whole range right here, which will be nice. It has a big old range. It can cover everything. And then with this, I think we can just get by with like a couple darts again, maybe? Like these, I really like the easy beginner ones. It is really nice that the maps don't ramp up. Like they're placed in there. I believe it used to be in order of when they came out, but then they changed that recently. Because I remember I had a really nice screen of black borders and they released the new map, Tinkerton, and then it like messed it all up. 
but it's not by level of ease, right? Cause then logs will be first and then resort and then Tinkerton, things like that. So it's kind of nice to get like a refresher at the end, right? When you feel like it's getting too tough, you can get a really easy one, feel good again, and then jump back into those harder ones. Cause hedge is going to be awful. I was trying to see how far I could go with just Etienne and uh, 21 seems to be it. I had to use the ability just because we're getting a little wrecked on it. And we're going to need lead here in a second. Obviously the best would be the Druid, because it's just a great tower for something like half cash. It's cheap and it's awesome. But for this, I think we're going to actually go with, let's just do a boomer because the satisfyingness of it just flying around the track will be really, really cool. And this one is an easier one, but it's not the easiest one. It's not like cubism because cubism, I think if you count it up in those spots, I had those dart monkeys. What is it like four or five different chances to hit? This is a one, two, three. It is technically four, I guess. It just feels a little weird. And honestly, the hero monkey knowledge would be so amazing right now we'd already have level eight we might even have level 10 no you wouldn't have level 10 no that's not gonna happen but it would be really really nice to have something that could just naturally destroy things like a second ability or just have everybody already have camo like round 42 is gonna be tough um, i'm hoping I, I can take this out like obviously if i can knock it down i can take it down with this guy so the boomerang's really good but just having that magic monkey for heroes tremendously changes your half cash game having the mana shield at 25 lives you literally don't realize how much you'll use that and just never worry about you just put one dart monkey down and save up for any hero you would not care Thought I'd try something a little crazy right here. I don't, we don't even have enough for it, which is funny. So I guess I'll just sell a couple of these. We still don't have enough for it. Uh, will it be enough though, is my question. But I think with just the boomerang can solo, to be completely honest with you, which is super funny. And then we got the blue aerial denial system, which is what I was going for. Now it can't pop lead, but it can target itself, which is nice. And it sees camo already, but we had to buy it regardless because I wanted the middle path. But yeah, dude, this is good. I like it a lot. And then if I buff it, it might be even better. I was going to go with the first strike. That's why I have it there on the bottom. But then I was thinking, let's just bully this thing. Get one of these. Get one of those. Use our UCAV ability there. And then the sticky bomb alone should knock it down. And then target independent. This guy will tear up the rest. Really good stuff. I'm really liking it now. But now we're on to hedge. Which, ugh, hedge, I kind of just want to anticipate and use sada but then again i'm thinking i might use a plane because it's a bad area we're just going to use sada i don't want to stress myself out or stress you guys out if you are trying to follow it this is a harder map it's probably the hardest beginner just because yes it's a long track yes it's easy but towers like the sniper can only see like right here and then it blocks everything and then if i miss here there's really not much cleanup i can do look at the dart doesn't even fit on that one so he only gets two shots at it attack might be better but i'm just gonna go for this this isn't too terrible yeah it's actually not bad and then once i get 350 i can sell both i don't know if that's the best way to do this but i could oh, that's actually not bad so we're gonna sell both and then as soon as this round ends we're gonna have enough money to buy sada so i should probably slow it down here at the last little drop and then use my ability put sada right there and then now she should solo it all or close to it better than the darts though so I want to be different in life, but there's no better combo than Sada and a Druid. They handle everything you need except for the Moab. And even on half cash, we have $4,900 ready to take down the Moab. Now we're down to 57 lives, yes, but I didn't use her ability at all, which I could have to make this a lot easier. I think a plane or a helicopter would be really good, but that's a pricey, pricey one. But honestly, though, it could be really beneficial to us. Actually, let's try this. We're gonna go up to the top one like we've been doing, but we're gonna put it on infinite figure like that. So it goes out of the screen and we're gonna go sharper darts. And the reason why is I think I'm gonna actually use this one. So it's gonna beat it up on its own. Remember we have sawdust, so we can just go like that, but I'm gonna use operation dart storm. It might be really good. Not really sure what I'm going for here, but I kind of just like this one. It gives me money, half of it, and it gives us lives, one. But we do have this to kind of clean up and since it's in such a good spot, it's gonna decamo everything 100% of the time. And then also it's gonna take in, it's always gonna have a full graveyard because the attack radius is all right here. So we're good. And then we have this one. So I'm not sure if it's the best for 63, but I don't see why we should lose, especially since we have the double Bramble dude over here. Yeah, see everything can't even get past us, but it would be very dumb of me to not just throw a boomerang in here. Like slow it down first so I don't lose it. Why is that thing so tight? Like it could just fit in there, buddy. Cause we have enough to get it and we can already have it decamoed, so this is a guaranteed win on 63, I think. Yeah, well, yeah, 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 he reaches all the way over there, we're golden. Here's our first rush, and I went a little farther than I wanted, but I mean, again, 
we have this guy to like literally follow it down the entire track. So even if it did happen to make it, it's not a big deal. I keep pushing the limits and then having all this money saved up because I don't really know what I want to do. I want to get a fifth tier, but you're just, you're never quite good enough to get a fifth tier. But we've made $1,700 with our Druid, which is kind of nice. So like, that's kind of scary right there. The Druid should handle it, but we do have Sada's ability. Actually, we don't even have to buy anything because I forgot about Sada's ability for that second rush. We're totally golden. So I'm wondering what to use here. We could use like a Spike Storm. Or you know what else could be fun? Throw a dart monkey here and get it up to a juggernaut. That means nothing can get past our bow. Like a cool spot for the juggernaut here would be like right there. Because they just go brrr, brrr, like kind of like it's doing right there with the aftermath. But that'd be kind of fun. Now, none of these towers except for this one's like an actual certified ZOMG popper or even helper. But I think we'll be okay. Because I do have Sada's abilities to break these things down. And then once the juggernaut can get like its hands on some stuff here, we might be fine. Okay, that wasn't good, but we have Sada's ability because she's the best hero in the game by far. Down to our last two, and end of the road can be quite difficult just for the fact that it's it's one lane, but it only has two chances to attack at any point, so it could be pretty tough. So let's go out with an actual bang and use Churchill here. Ugh, this could be rough. I might have to redo that whole idea. We'll see how this goes. I kind of went with my instinct, and next thing I know, I have nothing that pops camos, and so my instinct was absolutely awful so i guess a ninja could be somewhat decent here and then in a spot like this so it can like get around everything but i don't even have enough to oh goodness oh goodness gracious but we still have 79 lives so we could tank this entire round and be fine and then by the time we upgrade it i'm just worried about that moab i don't have anything for it i don't have a churchill uh, Churchill is such a bad idea we could have had sada already we'd already have her ability we could have had etienne already already had his ability but we didn't. We chose the most expensive hero in the game for half cash. Literally peak stupidity. It's like right now I should buy Churchill, but I don't think I should, honestly. I think I should do this, break down the Moab, which I don't even have enough for, sell it, and then buy it. So he better take it down, which he didn't. Oh my goodness, dude. That's what I'm talking about. That's so bad. Can Cannon handle it? I don't know if we can actually do this. We're going to eat a lot, a lot. I mean, not that many, so it wasn't the worst thing in the world. But now we can actually get our Churchill, which is nice, sort of. Put him here, though. I want that to be his spot. And until Churchill gets his camo, this is our camo. is one double shot. It's handling it, though. I'm not going to complain. I like that. Went a little off topic with this one, but we have this guy. And then we have the pull boat, which is awesome for rounds like 60. And then I got this to help with 63, which isn't going to be much help, but it also decamos so everybody can fight camo now. Mainly just the boat is what I was going for. I am very, very, very nervous about this setup. So I think what I should do as well is put a bomb right here. How about like right there? No, that's a bad spot. Like here maybe. I just want it up to clusters at least, but I don't think that's going to work. So let's see how far we get. Not okay. That wasn't terrible. I'm okay with it. It's getting a little farther than I'd like, but we have the strength of all this whole team here. Plus, this guy's really good. He doesn't look it, but he's great. I think what really saved us is this Bluntonium Reactor because it's keeping the regrows from regrowing and we're not having problems with it. Now, I wanted to just get like the middle path boat and just pull down the Pirate Lord, which we could do, honestly. I think we could sell everything for it, maybe. But then I figured two Assassins will be great and then we'll just pull whatever's underneath. Plus, we have his Barrage. So we can just go bang, bang, barrage. And that should be enough to pop it open. And we can pull one of them. And now we only have three to worry about. Plus we have his ability that we've never used, that first ability. And there we're done. We're on to the final one. We're on to logs. And it really doesn't matter what we use at this point. So I think we should use... We started on Quince. Let's end on Quincy. And everybody has Quincy. So logs is usually everybody's first chimps. I asked that a long time ago in a video and literally everybody first one was chimps on logs. That's everybody's first chimps experience. So I imagine it'll be like your first half cash because it'll just be after like the first map you're going after because it's really, really easy. We got one spot, two spot, three spot. And if I wasn't dumb, I would have actually put it right here in the middle and then we'd have four spots. But hey, we can't, can't have everything. So I corrected my mistake and now we have four spots right here. So I got Quincy in a pretty solid spot. He has so many, I think he has what, one? two, three, four, five spots to hit. That's insanity. And then I'm gonna get a sniper for my lead popping because we have such a long track that he can do a lot more than just pop lead. He can take down these white ones to where Quincy has less work to do. Very helpful tower. So here's my limit is round 35. I started losing some lives here. I think what I'm gonna do is go after this one again because I really, really liked how strong those sentries were. And we didn't get to use them enough because you could be a Moab with literally like pretty much any tower on logs. It's really cool. It just you have so many chances to hit. So 
nothing's going to be too worrisome. And then if we just put a bunch of engineers here, they're going to put them all in this area. And if we give it camo, so like anticipate it and give it, I know a sub in the middle would be awesome, but just literally a village right here could be pretty cool. Because Quincy's starting to get a little overwhelmed. Yeah, I'm going to have to use an ability here. I don't totally hate this. I have a total of three sentry experts. And dude, they're stopping 63 in its tracks because of the frozen ones. Now, you have no idea what you're going to get half the time. So sometimes you can get some bogus ones. But they all have oversized nails and they have pin. And they have a camo village with jungle drums. So they're super fast and they're super awesome. And I think we can carry till the end with these. I'm going to sell everything else just so I can see. I'm keeping Quince, of course. Seven, four, zero, two engineers all in range of the village. This is pretty cool. I want to see how fast I'll take out the ZOMG. But we're almost done, so I hope you guys learned some cool strategies. I hope you got some inspiration to take on half cash for yourself. I hope you learned the lesson of never not using monkey knowledge. You should always use it. There's no reason to put yourself through this kind of pain because this would have been even 10 times easier. But that is every single half cash on every single beginner. We did it. If you enjoyed it, let me know by hitting that like button. And next, since we've already done chimps and half cash on all beginners, that leaves us with intermediate on chimps. Can we do it? I think we can. And if you have not yet, check out this video where we take on every single beginner map on Chimps Mode in one go. It's two hours packed full of different strategies to give you ideas on how to play the game or just a good fun time if you like to pop balloons.